Welcome to week three in our series on Romans 8. I'm just going to read uh, verses 18 to 30 for you, uh, but before I do, a couple of questions for you to think about as you listen to the reading and as you uh, meditate on this passage this week. So the first question I want you to think about is based on verse 24. What does, for in this hope we are saved, mean? What does, for this hope we are saved, mean? Our second question is, what does it mean to wait for hope? What does it mean to wait for hope? And our third question, in verse 28, what does verse 28 mean? When Paul says, for those who love God, all things work together for good. What does verse 28 mean? So let's read uh, Romans chapter 8, verses 18 to 30. For I consider that the suffering of this present time are not worth comparing with the glory that is to be revealed to us. For the creation waits with eager longing, for the revealing of the sons of God. For the creation was subjected to futility, not willingly, but because of him who subjected it, in hope, that the creation itself will be set free from its bondage to corruption, and obtain the freedom of the glory of the children of God. For we know that the whole creation has been groaning together in the pains of childbirth until now. And not only the creation, but we ourselves, who, who have the first fruits of the Spirit, grown inwardly as we wait eagerly for the adoption as sons, the redemption of our bodies. For in this hope we were saved. Now hope that is seen is not hope, for who hopes what he ha has sees? But if we hope for what we do not see, we wait for it with patience. Likewise, the Spirit helps us in our weakness, for we do not know what to pray for as we ought. But the Spirit himself intercedes for us with groanings too deep for words. And he who searches hearts knows what is the mind of the Spirit, because the Spirit intercedes for the saints according to the will of God. And we know that for those who love God, all things work together for good, for those who are called according to his purpose. For those whom he foreknew, he also predestined to be conformed to the image of his Son, in order that he might be the firstborn among many brothers. And those whom he predestined, he also called. And those whom he called, he also justified. And those whom he justified, he also glorified. Thank you, and God bless.